Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying a good cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is that you like to drink in the morning. But today, I'm going to be making some gluten-free, grain-free chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, my husband has requested some. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And, yeah, still got a vacuum. Shh. I'll get to that. But anyway, the sun is shining here. So yeah, I really have to vacuum now. But I hope that you will wanna stick around for a little portion of my day. And I will talk to all of you in just a little while. As you can see behind me, I've gotten everything out that I need in order to make chocolate chip cookies. And the chocolate chip cookies that I am making are not only gluten-free, they're grain-free. And my husband and I, we actually like these better than the traditional chocolate chip cookies. So the recipe is fairly simple. It takes a quarter of a cup of palm shortening, one egg, quarter of a cup of coconut crystals, two tablespoons of honey, two teaspoons of vanilla, one and a half cups of almond flour, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, two tablespoons of coconut flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of chocolate morsels. So anyways, let's get this going. Our oven is set at 350 degrees and what I have in my food processor here is my quarter cup of palm shortening. And what I'm supposed to do is add the egg and process this for approximately 15 seconds. Now this is going to be the very first time that I have used my food processor to make this recipe. And that's because I've always just used my stand mixer. The actual directions say to use a food processor. And when I started making these, I didn't have a food processor. So I thought, you know what? I have a food processor now, so why don't I do it the way the directions say? So that's why this is gonna be the first time that I've used it with the food processor. The next thing that we're to add is we're to add the coconut crystals. And I just have all of this already um, pre-measured out. We're also supposed to add the honey and the vanilla. And we're to process this again until it's all combined. I'm just going to scrape these sides a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to add the flowers. And in here is my salt, my baking soda, my coconut flour, and my blanched almond flour. And we will process this again until it's combined. It says that we should stop after that initial 30 seconds and scrape down the sides, making sure that everything is combined. And that is all there is to it. And now what I'll do is I will go ahead and just stir in the chocolate chips. I find it easier to just put into a bowl. Now it says to take a tablespoon and put it on parchment paper. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to flatten these out. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to fill this up, stick them in the oven. It says to bake them for 10 minutes until the cookies are browned around the edges and to cool. And hey, we'll test them out. They really make a delicious cookie. I'd encourage you to give it a try. I have in the description below a link for a printable recipe for this. So if you would like to print it up, 
I also wanted to say that the last three or four things that I have made, I have also linked it in the description for you to be able to print the recipe up. I just got forgetting to tell everybody. What can I say? I'm gonna pour myself a glass of milk and yeah, I'm gonna enjoy a cookie. And I will talk to all of you in just a little while. Today's devotion, our scripture verse is Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Remember, yesterday I told you that Jesus is calling on us to influence the world for his glory. That we've got to be different. That we can't affect the world unless we are different. Our lives and relationships and homes have to be different. And again, I want you to notice that our scripture is telling us that we are the light. And in verse 16, Jesus says, let your light so shine. Just as salt is hidden and you don't see it because it works secretly to preserve from the inside, light shines on the outside. And light is visible. In other words, salt is the influence of Christian character. Quiet, but powerful. Light is the communication of the gospel. There is two points about light. First, we live it from the inside we affect society's thinking and living by the power of our own lives. And second, we preach it. We turn on the light so that people can hear the gospel. The first point is paramount to remember. It isn't just in our words, but our conduct is to be the evidence of a godly life. And unlike salt that is subtle in influence, we are to be very open and an intentional, influential light. And as light, we speak the truth of the light and we live the light. We live the truth of light. In verse 16, it implies that first, they see our good works, and second, that they glorify our Father in heaven. This implies that both a life and a message is to be lived and spoken. Psalm 27, 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? If you want to know what light is in the Bible, it's the complete revealing of God himself, his word, and his son. That is light. We are to spread the message of salvation, not just sit around talking about it and fellowshipping with each other. Fellowship is needed and it is wonderful. It is rich and it is exciting. But think about this. How many lights do you need in a room full of lights? You don't. We are to proclaim that message of light to a dark world. It's 
your light and my light shining into the darkness that will make the difference. And with that, I want to remind you, life happens. Let's enjoy it. And I want to paraphrase very quickly here, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6. And you look it up when I'm done. This is a paraphrase. God ordered the light to shine out of darkness. And he is the one who shone in our hearts the light, which is Jesus Christ clearly revealed of the knowledge and the glory and the majesty of God. So God passes the light all the way down through us. It's important that we let our light shine. God bless, and I will talk to you on Monday. Mm -hmm.